Today we're taking a look at Blue by ADT. This is their DIY home security system. In the video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at their hardware and app and then going over some of the features. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does, and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. Today we're taking a look at the myth, the legend, ADT. Now, most likely you guys have heard of ADT because they've been around forever. They were actually founded in 1874, and they have quite a reputation. In fact, if I look down my street right here, there are probably five neighbors with ADT signs in front of their house or stickers in their windows. And the reality is, I think only two of them actually have ADT. Now that's pretty impressive that a company is so well known that even if you don't have an ADT system, just the sign alone in your front yard is going to deter people from breaking into your house. Now to become more modern and to keep up with the competition, ADT has come out with their new blue line. Now this is a DIY system that you actually set up yourself and is ideal for people who don't own their homes. So there's no wiring you need to worry about, punching holes in walls or anything like that. This is all going to be just double-sided sticky tape or a couple of screws in the wall to be able to mount this stuff and get it set up and then you can take it with you when you move out. So in the video today, we're gonna to take a look at their website and I'm gonna show you my experience of ordering one of these through their website. I'll then show you guys what comes in the box. We will do the setup, go through the app, talk about some of the features, and then at the end, I'll give you the conclusion of this system. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. With that said, let's get started. All right, so here is the Blue by ADT site. This is gonna be all of the DIY products that they sell. So we take a look at products up here. They've got cameras, security systems, build your own system, uh, doorbells, indoor cameras, stuff like that. We're gonna go ahead and check out the bundles that they have by clicking on system. So you can start by building your own system, starting at about $100. And then they've got one that comes with the doorbell camera. They've got a 15 piece and an 11 piece. So those are all of the packages that they have. This 15 piece here comes with a camera. It looks like it's their older camera. It's not the newer one. Uh, I do want to pick up the newer one. It's got a different look to it. So we're gonna go with the 11 piece system right here and then we're gonna add an indoor camera onto that. So 11 piece system, yep, add that to cart. So $200 is actually not bad compared to some of the other companies that I've looked at. And then we've got the two different monitoring plan. So we've got the self-monitoring, which is free. And then we've got the 24 hour monitoring. You can cancel at any time. There is no term contracts, which is nice. So we're going to do that pro monitoring. Let's go back up here. And we're going to add our camera. So we're going to click on smart cameras and we're just going to go with an indoor camera for this one. It looks like you have options of two different colors here. Here's everything that comes with the camera. So we've got night vision. It looks like it's a 1080p camera, facial recognition. It's got a battery backup. That's nice. Fire CO2 siren detection. That's cool. Two-way talk, noise cancellation. Great. And if you want to know more about it, we've got a lot of things on here. It's got a little video you can play. Check out all the different stats of this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and let's add this guy to our cart. We're going to check out... So we've got our 11 piece system with indoor cam, comes to about $400. I'm gonna go ahead and place this order. Once this box gets here, I will show you guys what comes in the box. Okay, so here is the big ADT box that was shipped to me. Inside of this box, we've got some stickers, we've got a user's guide, we've got a box for the base station. So we got the base station in here. We've got our indoor camera, our keypad, our sensors and accessories. And then down here we have got our yard sign. So these are all the boxes that come in the big box. This is everything that I ordered. You can take a look at some of the stuff in here. So things are all labeled. We've got the key fobs, the window and the door sensors. We've got our siren right here. Motion sensor right here. Looks like a power cable inside of the keypad. Yep, just what I thought, a keypad. As far as the camera, the camera is still sealed up, but this is the camera right here. We'll get this open in a bit. 
And then let's take a look at this base. So here is the base right here. We've got power cables, network cables, phone cable down here. And then here is the base station itself. So this is what comes in the box. Let's get this stuff set up now. Okay, so their setup process was one of the worst experiences I have had. And that is partly because of a mix up with accounts. So when I first looked into the system, I created an account on their website. A few days later, I then went and I purchased their hardware through their website. And when I eventually got it in, I went through the setup process. The problem that I had is that I couldn't get logged into my account. I tried calling them and I waited on hold for over 30 minutes, not even knowing when I was next in line or how much longer I would have to wait. I eventually hung up and went onto their website and started chatting with a person. After about 20 minutes of chatting, I found out that I was actually talking to ADT, not Blue by ADT, which apparently is a completely separate department in their company. They told me they couldn't help me. I actually needed to call Blue by ADT, so they gave me a phone number. Called Blue by ADT, after a while, I finally got somebody on the phone to help me. They tried to help me reset my password so I can get logged into my account, and it was not working at all. After several frustrating minutes of trying to get my account password reset, magically, the phone got disconnected. So I was so frustrated, I put this on pause for a day, called back the next day, and actually got the best person on the phone. This person was so helpful. They were very knowledgeable looking into my account, and it turns out I had two accounts set up with ADT. So I had the first account that I set up with ADT when I first initially was looking into the system. And apparently, when you purchase a kit through their website, they also create an account for you. So that's why when I was trying to log in with the password that I thought I set up, I couldn't get in and then we tried to reset the password. Anyway, this person went in, cleared up all the mistakes, I was able to get logged in and everything was fine. So a bit of advice to avoid frustration, don't create an account. If you're gonna order through their website, they will send you all the account information that you need. Now, however, when I did talk to this person, they said if you do order a system through Amazon or any other third party, that is when you would want to create your own account. So now you know. But now that I have my account set up, let's take a little more detailed look at the hardware and then we'll take a look at the app and what features it provides. All right, so here we have the base station and the keypad. Taking a look at the keypad, it is a pretty straightforward setup. We've got all of our numbers right here. We've got the pound and the asterisk at the bottom. Hold those together for panic. Also, we've got off, stay, away, and instant. If we take a look at the back, there is a port back here to plug in the unit if you wanna have it plugged in. There are two AA batteries inside, so you can run those off batteries if you want to. Now, taking a look at the base station, looking at the back here, we have got a reset button, we've got the power port, USB connector, ethernet port, phone line, and then an additional antenna if you want to boost your signal strength. Now, initially, when you set this up, you do have to plug it into ethernet to set up the Wi-Fi, but once you get the Wi-Fi set up on here, you can actually unplug that ethernet and you only need to have the power cable plugged in to run your system here. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was their indoor camera, and specifically because it's huge. I can't even believe how big this thing is. Now, just to give you guys an idea, this is Ring's indoor camera. So here are the two of them side by side, and I just cannot believe how big the ADT indoor camera is. Now, it does have, it looks like a slot on the side for a USB card, so you can save clips locally, and it does have a nice stand that you can rotate this camera in any direction that you want to. But now that we've taken a look at some of the hardware, let's dive into the app and see what kind of features this thing has. So there are a lot of features built into this app right here, and for the sake of time, I'm only gonna be covering some of the highlights of this app. So here we are on the home screen right here. If I tap on the shield in the center, it's going to bring up arming the system. So we've got stay, away, and instant. Those are the three different options that we have. Backing out of there below that we can see our cameras. So I've got one indoor camera that we have saved right there. You can view your saved media if you tap that below it. And then below this, we can see the history. So camera moving around like that, view all history. So if I scroll through all of this stuff right here, we can see door and window sensors, 
opening and closing. That's just gonna show you the history of everything that has been happening in the house. And if we take a look below that, it's going to show you the crime watch, which is just gonna show you some of the activity that has been happening in your area. So tapping in the top left corner, it's gonna bring up the menu. You can add different users if you wanna do that. Devices, we're gonna take a look at all the devices that I have set up. We've got camera, doors, window sensors. Now, everything just has a generic name when you set this up. I actually went in and I changed the door one to say front door. So if we go in here, we can see all of the different options for this door sensor. And you can see here placement, door, window, or other. Now, like I mentioned, the door and window sensors are the same. You just categorize them here in the app. So if we back out of there, we can go through, go down all the way to the base station here. Now you can see that I have Wi-Fi set up. I've got a great signal strength for Wi-Fi but my cellular backup is pretty low. Inside the base station settings, you can set all of these different tones up, and then in advanced settings, you can set up different Z-Wave devices to connect to the base there. So we're gonna back out of here. So also in here, we've got alerts, rules and settings. So if you take a look at rules, there are no predefined rules set up for this yet, but you can go in and add different rules that you wanna set up. For example, you can have it to where when somebody opens up the door and that door is triggered, that the camera starts recording, different things like that. So we're gonna back out of here. Also take a look quickly at the settings. You got locations, monitoring, billing, security, third-party integration. So this in does integrate with Amazon, Google, and IFTTT. You can back out of here and then hit the X up in the top corner and that's going to bring you back to your home screen. So that is a quick demo of what you can do through the app. I want to give you guys an audio and video test of the ADT camera. This is what it looks and sounds like. I'm about eight feet away from the camera right now, but this is what the quality looks like in the middle of the day. What do you guys think? All right, so what did you guys think about that camera? I thought it was actually pretty good. It's better than a lot of the cameras that I have tested out there. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about for EDT is their monthly service cost. So if you take a look at the website, they've got two plans, essentially. They've got the free plan where you can monitor yourself, you can use all of their hardware, but then you're in charge of monitoring your system, or you can get the professional 24 seven monitoring. Now this is only $20 a month, which is actually a pretty good price. It's not as good as rings $10 a month, but it's definitely better than front points $50 a month. Now, in conclusion, I'm actually more impressed with this system than I thought it would be. When I think ADT, I think old, clunky, punching holes in your wall, running wires type of system. They definitely are getting more modern to compete with the competition out there. As you saw in the beginning, I was able to pick up this 11 piece system for $200. And then we added the additional indoor cam for another $200. Now I think that indoor cam is a little expensive for what it's worth. I mean, other competition out there is around $100, if not a little bit cheaper, but you're also gonna have to use a separate app if you go down that route. But what are your thoughts on that? Do you like having everything in one app, even if it costs a little bit more money, or are you okay spreading it around to different apps, saying having one for your security system and a different one for your cameras to save a little extra money? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanna know more about the ADT system, check out the reviews.org website. I will leave a link in the description below. If you guys wanna see more from me, check out my channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of smart home and other tech reviews. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. I want to thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. I'll see you guys in the next video.